Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Okay, got a comfy little bohemian space here for a young person. This is what it reminds me of. Now, just so you know, it's not the apartment that the person lives in that I'm going to be speaking to you about. Hmm. It, I was telling a friend of mine, sometimes it's like living in two different worlds collectively. And this is a good example of that. Young black woman. She's having a hard time, stressed out, understandably, about her finances, okay? Because she really stressed out. And, you know, um, work, laid off, savings pretty much exhausted. Uh, Seven's package, that's gone. So this is so not uncommon, happening to a lot of people. And so, in having a conversation, it's like, you know, you, you try to think of things, you know, I always say whenever in crisis, let's try to calm down, okay? Let's, you calm down, don't want to have an anxiety attack, because a lot of people are so stressed out, man, it's like no joke, okay? So she was like, yeah, you know, just, you know, just stressed out what she's going to do. And then Brad says, oh, well, you know what you're going to have to do? He says, you're going to have to just pick up the phone and call your parents. I'm looking at him like, yeah. I'm like, listen, that's not an option because collectively in our community, a lot of people don't have that option. And what I'm really thinking, especially black women, me, ma, man, they'll come up with some money for their sons. Oh, yeah, we can't keep leaders in jail. They always have money for jail and bail. Mm -hmm. But a young black woman, professional, things didn't go right. Good luck, sis. You are on your own. So I'm like, you know, that's just not an option calling the parents it's not no one's coming to the rescue so i just said you know i'm not going into details with it i'm like you know that that's not an option at this point i was thinking yes you were thinking in your world your culture and good for you we operate differently you know what i'm saying and we are led by matriarch our community and if Tyrone needs some help, you already know from my experience, from what I see, the black girl, you're, you're on your own. You know, you, you have to go figure it out. We throw the daughters to the woods and go make it work. We coddle these sons, holding him to my breast to see because I was my son. Uh -huh. That's why I keep telling you women to be selfish. Put you first. Please. And I thought about it. It's just disgusting. It's like, most people I know have that option. I look at people that I know and have known, Caucasian, Asian, Hispanic, Indian. They can all do what? They can go to their parents, get loans, start businesses. This one guy was telling me, uh, we were, the three of us were talking, and he was talking about you know, there's the parent things the parents had done. And it, we know later on as two black people, I was like, did you hear what he said when he said this? Like, yep. The sacrifices made just like the man in that video. I said, so they live in a middle, uh, middle income home. It's nice. You know, look at the money they're putting back in all these accounts and in these investments. They're setting up businesses, not talking about it. They're, they're, they've done it. Setting up businesses and already, while the kids are on a job working, doing their own thing, the parents don't set up a business. You're not going to believe this. Already having them as a business partner on paper. 
and they're getting income. <laughs> middle middle class people that live middle class, I definitely see some wealth. Starting a business already. The kids are at work on public jobs and they have the children's name on the business and, and cutting them a percentage of the check. So you look at it, you got a check from your job and then you have a check from your parents' business. Uh, if something happens to them, the paperwork is already together. It'll go straight to the kids. Having them down as a partnership with some ownership. So they got two incomes coming in. Wow, what an incentive. We have got to stop this thing where, from what I see in the community, there's a whole lot of parents, other people invest in their children, and I know we don't want to be told, but we're, if it doesn't apply, let it fly good for you. We're sitting there living our flowers. How's that turning out? This is just backwards. I said, so the parents have a business. You already own a job. Well, they have you down as a partner. Also, you and you're getting the check off that. So then you wonder why when something goes wrong, oh, I got to go. I'm thinking, no, it's not your business. It's your parents' business. Oh, no, it's, it's yours, little homie. Uh-huh. They got you down on paper. Wow. Unbelievable. You have got to be kidding me. And then I thought about it, you know, I hate to say it, given the culture, um, the women are, we're led by matriarch, but I think so many black women, they're like, they're like destined to try to, you know, make, oh no, a man in leadership. So what a black mother will do, I'm sorry to say this, most black women will do, they'll be sitting there working like a dog, working two or three jobs, three hours sleep, and the next thing you know, they'll be trying to build some man up. A black mother will do it for her son, black grandmama will do it for her grandson. A black woman will do it for her man. And they'll be trying to boost. You call yourself going, I'm going to defy, defy the odds. That's where all the money goes. Look how much money. Ask yourself how much money goes to um, um, put some money on somebody's book or getting a lawyer. Every time they get in trouble, there's money for a lawyer. But there's not money to educate the daughters or to start a business. Why is that? I said, ain't this something? So, you mean to tell me, so they have, I thought about that. You're already a partner in the business. If something happens to them, then of course the, the business is, is all yours. Our world works differently. Some of these parents, the parents before them already set them up. So then you look at it. I've seen this happen personally. So then you look at it. When grandpapa or grandmother passes on, you know what they're doing? They're not doing, you got to get your own. Nobody did it for me. You look up. The parents have already uh, set up. So it's not unlike them to go ahead and pass. You look up a house or a condo and give them to the grandkids. I've seen Becky. Yeah, granddad left me this condo. She can lease it out, live in it. Her friend is down on her luck. Well, you're lucky because I like my place. My granddad died. You can go live there. You let a friend live there for free. Wow. We could be doing well. Again, we don't love like that. We'll be like, you're going to have to do something. So, of course, to him, well, you know what you're going to have to do is, you know, call on the parents. <laughs> Boy, bye. To do what? Maybe she can go and get her two jobs hustling some pizza as a delivery driver. Maybe she can do that. Do that and Uber. Get two jobs. Why not? You're a black woman. You can do it. And it's things like that. You know, that's the luxury that they have. And I was like, wow, this group win. I I'm asking for a friend. When will something like that come across? So going to the parents, again, boy, bye. Not an option. Because we don't get down like that. We don't operate like that. 
And then you wonder why we don't have like that. It's like having a procedural man manual. Here's how to do the job to guarantee success. We want to take the man and put it in the trash. And, oh, I know my way, but the way it's just not working. And people give their opinion based on their experience. I, I totally get it. And that's why he said that, because they had that option. You got to pick up the phone and call a parent. To do what? To hear a lecture? I, who told you to go on the tech? Well, I don't know what to tell you, hon. I mean, you just got to keep on looking for a job. Are you getting unemployment? Okay, because maybe you can go ahead and put your things in a storage and then pay Black Queen Mama some of your unemployment money. But they'll have a whole son sitting up there. Cletus ain't been working in the last 15, 27, 35 years, 10 years. Well, he just got out in 1995 and he's still sitting on his butt. It's a wonder when he gets up, the sofa don't also rise. Again, it's like a difference in night and day and how we operate. And it, it is. So for people going through things, uh, I sympathize with you. I, I really do. But I just noticed you look... You, you look at how we operate, it's like totally two different worlds. And when we try to have this, we know, okay, that makes total sense. But again, all I can think of, the love is just not there. All these black women getting evicted. How many black men that are ex-cons, or if not ex con that don't work, don't like to work, got a piece of job, sitting up here, got all these children? Where is he? More than likely, he's on some woman taking care of him. And then, when her job being, then what? That's why when you see them talking about old black women being evicted, you don't seem to get it. They sitting up there taking care of a black man in a whole lot of cases. I've seen a woman look like a fool, and I was like, I said, look at all the money she makes. This makes no sense. She was up her pen, I kid you not, paying her husband and his child support. Mm-hmm. Paying his child support. Oh, yeah. Um, that I mentioned he was paying his child support due, due to the affairs he was having during the marriage. I told her, girl, I would have been let him go to jail, honey. And I guess if not, they'll go, go after her purse, too. Go after hers. So she's paying him. Girl, I'll let him get the last one. Look, while he's in jail, I go file for divorce. So when that's why I tell you to be selfish. So when it gets bad for you, what 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 who can you call on? What what can you who's gonna come and rescue you? Us. And you may have some that can call mom and dad. I think that's just totally great. But that's not for many, that's just not the case. Because she was just sitting up, little place, and that's what he came up with. You know what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to just call your parents. For what? You can pray all day, no offense to prayer, but you got to be realistic. They're not taking rent. They're not taking a prayer book read or a devotional hymn read for rent. They want that guac. They want the money. Put yourself first. This inflation thing, what's going on? It is. This is so dangerous. I'm telling you, this may sound crazy. This situation that we have here in America, this will kill you. You better believe it. Oh, I know it will. It'll, it'll kill you. People getting sick. Going to work every day. That's, a, that's That'll be a different video. But this here, you know what you're going to have to do is call your parents. We don't operate that way. And if we did, any money available, I don't know why. It seems to always go to the one somebody who's on struggle bus, you know. Oh, me all got a house. Well, don't let Cassandra live in it. She's corporate trying to make some money, pay those student loans. Well, you know, Sanjay coming out of jail next week. He gonna need a place to stay, and that more gonna need his privacy. And he'll be the one that they put in the house. And then they'll be looking to the daughters to try to pitch in to pay, get him food and utilities. 
the princess in Timberland boots, Nike shoes on, size 13, 15 shoes sitting up there. That's the princess. So that there, when he said that, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's your world. We're speaking Blackistan. You know what you're going to have to do is call the parents. Yeah, Yo, you know, get them involved. They, they can help. Speak for yourself. Anyway, I want to share that with you. Again, if you're doing well, continue. If things are a little tight right now, I just pray and hope it gets better. Because a lot of things I hear, I just can't. It's not even me, man. You know, the things I hear people going through. I don't, I don't care if somebody got a better spot than me. I don't want anybody to lose their house, lose their car. I really don't. You say, oh, that's better than yours. I don't care. I don't want anybody to lose their things. And that's what's happening. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. But I found that interesting. Oh, what you're going to have to do, call the parents, get the parents involved. You know that they can help. <laughs> that is a joke. And especially for many hardworking people. It amazes me, though, how you can be a criminal. You can be a lazy, good-for-nothing dust bucket. And guess what? Time something goes wrong, the mammy's on deck. Heed the call. And I'm out.